one look at the current roster and one can safely say that the compact sedan is all grown up. With its combination of sleek looks, the latest technology and practicality, the modern compact is anything but small. For this week's Head to Head, we pick two examples of how far this segment has gone, namely with the Hyundai Elantra and Mazda 3. Both these compacts burst upon scene upon launch and have been a staple for the respective manufacturers since. Of course, there is more to these cars than good sales figures. We sort out their differences under the skin to help you choose your next compact. This week features two stylish compact sedans in today's market, the Mazda 3 and the Hyundai Elantra. Let's take a closer look at these two cars inside and out. The Hyundai Elantra is available with two engines. First is a 1.6-liter gamma engine with 128 PS and 154 newton meters of torque. Up for the top-of-the-line model and it gets a 2.0-liter new engine, bumping power up to 152 PS and 192 newton meters of torque. Like the Elantra, the Mazda 3 also has two engine options. Its range starts with a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine with Sky Active G technology that puts out 112 PS and 144 newton meters of torque. The top spec engine is a 2.0 liter four cylinder, also boasting Sky Active G technology. Power for the 2.0 liter engine is rated at 155 PS and 200 Newton meters of torque. A six speed automatic is standard on all Mazda 3 models, while the Hyundai Elantra is available with a six speed manual in the entry level model. The six speed automatic transmission is standard on the mid and top spec variants. Both Ryder and McPherson struts in front but differ at the rear. The rear suspension of the Mazda 3 is a multi-link beam axle, while the Elantra gets a coupled torsion beam axle setup. Stepping inside the Elantra, it follows in the footsteps of its bigger sibling, the Sonata. It too has Hyundai's T-shaped fascia for its dashboard which is tilted towards the driver for a driver-centric layout. All Elantra variants get fabric-trimmed seats, as well as soft-touch materials for its dash. Manual air conditioning is standard on the entry-level and mid-range model, while the top-of-the-line variant gets automatic climate control and rear vents. Push-button start is standard in the range topper, while the rest use a key. Moving to the Mazda 3, it gets cues from the company's Roadster, the MX-5. Like the Roadster, it gets swooping wraparound dashboard with a sporty theme. In the base models, the seats are trimmed in fabric, while the mid-level model gets black leather. The top-spec Mazda 3 gets white leather with contrast stitching. Other sporting elements include a thick leather trim steering wheel and Fox carbon fiber trim on all variants. Automatic climate control and a push-button starter is also standard on all models. For audio and infotainment systems, all Mazda 3 variants come with a 7-inch monitor. This system can handle MP3, aux in, USB, CD, and Bluetooth. It can be controlled via touch or through the scroll wheel on the center console. Sound is then channeled through six speakers, but go for the 2.0-liter models and you get the nine-speaker Bose sound system. For the Hyundai Elantra, it has three audio systems available. The base model gets a two-din stereo with CD player, while moving up the range upgrades that stereo to accommodate USB and aux-in features. Only the top-level model gets a five-inch monitor with CD, USB, and aux-in. It gets four speakers in the base and mid-spec trims, while the 2.0-liter variants come standard with six. The Mazda 3's exterior follows the automaker's Kodo design language. At the front, it features large headlights plus Mazda's current signature grille. The lower half of the bumper is given an aggressive look with sharp lines and defined angles. Onto the side, the window line creases upwards all the way to the tail end of the sedan. At the back, it gets wraparound taillights that resemble those from the larger Mazda 6. Base rod on 16-inch wheels, while the mid to top of the line models get 18-inch wheels. The Elantra, meanwhile, features Hyundai's current design language called Fluidic Sculpture 2.0. This design focuses on aerodynamics with its swooping lines and upswept styling elements. The signature hexagonal grille defines its front fascia and defined edges. Alien aerodynamics are the C-shaped intakes that lets air flow through to the wheels. The side is defined by two character lines, one near the window and the other by the bottom of the doors. At the rear, it retains the signature long wraparound taillights as seen in its predecessor. 
The entry-level Elantra rides on 15-inch alloys and the mid-spec model is on 16-inch alloys. Top-spec Elantras get 17-inch alloy wheels. Taking a look at their safety features, the Mazda 3 has dual front airbags, ABS with EBD, dynamic stability control, traction control, rear parking sensors and rear parking camera standard across the range. In the Elantra, both mid-range and top-of-the-line models get dual airbags along with ABS and EBD. The 2.0-liter model adds the rear park assist system and range sensors. There are three variants available for the Hyundai Elantra, namely the 1.6 GL 6MT, the 1.6 GL 6AT, and the 2.0 GLS 6AT. In the Mazda, there are five variants to choose from, starting with a Sky Active V Sedan, Sky Active V Hatch, Sky Active R Sedan, Sky Active R Hatch, and Speed Hatch. For the Elantra, prices start at 898,000 pesos to 1,158,000 pesos. As for the Mazda 3, it ranges from 975,000 pesos to 1,308,000 pesos. That's our head to head for this week, our rundown on two stylish choices in the compact car class. As these cars have shown, you can enjoy the practicalities of a family sedan with a healthy dose of good looks. On top of that, these cars go beyond skin deep to offer compelling packages for today's compact car shopper.